smart and skinny chicks know about nibbling. It's those little snacks that oftentimes you don't even think about. You just walk by, put your hand in the candy jar, stuff a few gummy bears in your mouth, and that's 40 calories. It's those teeny little diet destroyers that add up, that you don't even account for when you try and calculate your daily calories. Like a muffin top. So if you're in a meeting and you think, nah, I'm not gonna have the whole muffin because I know that a muffin is filled with fat, even a bran muffin, and very high in calories and carbs, I think I'm just gonna have the muffin top. Well, that's 130 calories right there. Then if you're at the grocery store and you're handed um, a little sample meatball, not a big deal, 85 calories later, or how about in the office when, you know, there are those office parties and there's those big things of cake and you're not going to have a slice because you don't need it, you're about to have lunch, so instead you just have two bites, 40 calories. Or if you're out to lunch with your hubby, you get the diet soda, he has the regular soda, you have three sips, not a big deal, 40 calories. Now what about, and this is super common, your child doesn't quite finish their mac and cheese. It's just a little scoop, no big deal. You know, as they're finishing up, you eat those final scoops of mac and cheese. 100 calories, right there. And finally, the end of the night. You just want one bite of yummy goodness, and so you have a heaping spoonful of Rocky Road. Mm hmm 75 calories for the whole spoonful. So right there, just a couple little nibbles, and you have added 460 calories to your day. If you want to be a smart and skinny chick too, you need to be careful with the nibbles. It can destroy your diet.